Hey everybody, it's Sonny Mr. Joy Flux, call me Flux for short or whatever you want to call me. Um, in the last episode, we did pretty much everything we could in the Gusty Garden Galaxy. In this episode, we don't have anything more to do there right now, so let's go on and do another galaxy. I'm going to start us off in the Freeze Flame Galaxy because... Why not? I don't know, I really like this level. one of my personal favorites in the game for some reason. I'm not sure why. Anyway, Freeze Flame Galaxy, the frozen peak of Baron Burr. That is a terrible pun, both on the Burr and Cold and Aaron Burr from American poli political history. Uh, someone on the uh, localization team was actually like a fairly good student and very good at puns, so I can approve of those. Anyway, what do you have to say, Mr. Penguin? Hey, old man, you practicing how to skate, too? Well, why don't we play a game? Can you catch me? And this basically introduces the ice skating gimmick. Frozen platforms here. How could one penguin move so fast? <laughs> I don't know, he's just celebrating. But if you spin while, on, while, while moving on, um, on, a, on a frozen platform... You'll just kind of skate along a little bit, and it's a nice little quick way of getting around. It'll be more useful in later, but right now, you just want to catch this penguin. He doesn't he doesn't punish you if you take too long. It's just he'll be he'll be is equally impressed if you catch him ever as if you catch him right away. So let's just catch him and move on with the game. Not bad, old man, with skating skills like that. You might have a chance. Small chance, maybe, but a chance. <laughs> Not sure what that accent turned into there for a moment, but it wasn't what I meant. Let's race again sometime. I am one of the worst people with accents you could find, honestly, so that's not surprising for me. Anyway, and we are now in the freeze part of the galaxy, at least. You'll see the fr flame part later on. The water here is cold. Really, really cold. Seriously, if you fall in, it's going to hurt. Well, that's basically just your sign, quite literally, that touching the water here will slowly cause damage. Touch that coin, and this is our introduction to a new power-up. Also, these things spin into them, and... They will be stunned, and if you kick them while they're stunned, they will drop a coin. This is our new power-up. You transformed into Ice Mario. Shake remote to skate. You can walk on water, too. Basically, the gimmick is not only that you are made of ice and can move, but you freeze water that you touch instantly. So... They call it Ice Mario, but it'd probably be more accurate to say it's Ice Nine Mario. <laughs> if you get that reference... Well, okay, maybe not entirely Ice 9, because the water doesn't freeze permanently. This is actually technically a shortcut up to the next part of the level. I'm going to skip it, because that's not the way you're supposed to go. But there's, well, I won't say it's not the way you're supposed to go, because there's multiple ways around this level. It's a little bit more open-ended than some of the levels in this game. At least this part of it is. You'll see what I mean, because... But anyway, the ice power-up lasts only a limited time, but if it's act while it's active, you will freeze water, can make platforms out of water, little spouts like these. You can get a one-up there. That there, You might have seen a sling star there for a second. That is something for a later time. But... Got these pushy faces things again. Pushy faces things again. Yes, I can English. Ooh. Now you don't take damage immediately from the water, but if you stay in there for too long in, a, in any at any one time, you will. Now this kind of takes you up here. Also, there's a box here that it...
that you can get up onto to reach that one up. That's a little bit hard to reach. Um, also, these platforms sink, so you might want to stay away from them. They are not good for you in any way, shape, or form. Grab the ice mu mu ice mushroom. That's not a mushroom. That's a flower, dude. Know, know your plants and fungi. Plant Fungi are not plants, even. So, just... Know how to tell the difference. You have to have an ice pot mushroom to getting up here or you will not get it up here. And this is the boss. I know, already a boss in this video. How surprising. But he's pretty easy to beat. Just kind of get around to here. This side has an ice flower. The other side has coins, I think. But all you need is the ice flower to get across the water here. Uh, and, ah, also, do not, do not let him, yeah, that's basically how long it takes for you to take damage, grab a coin to heal, you shouldn't have to do this to heal too many times, but, but there's very little in the way, available in the way of coins, and half of the coins in this arena you collect going up to fight him to like to attack him the first time so it's surprisingly easy to fail this boss fight not because it's hard but because it's unforgiving but anyway if you if you know what you're doing you should be able to dodge his attacks better than I do stand up here wait for him to pound the ground and jump over the shockwave and you can spin into him, dispel his frost a little bit, spin into him again, and that will actually damage him. Uh, you don't need to even get the ice flower again to atta attack him again. You just need it if you fall down. Which his shockwaves will knock you down. So... Once you start getting some damage on him, you can actually just combo him, more or less, into infinity. <laughs> and by infinity, we mean death. Because death awaits us all in the end. That was very dark. I didn't mean for it to come out like that. But, on that note... Uh, no new notices. So I'm going to check the map. I've been checking this map every now and again. Because, yep, there is a Daredevil comet in the Gusty Garden Galaxy. So, as I've said before, I like to do comets whenever they show show up. Just so I have them off my list and I don't have to worry about going back and forth to finding for finding them. So, we'll just get this out of the way now. It's a Daredevil comet. Shouldn't be that hard. Gonna speed it up. Major Burrow's Daredevil run. It's a thing. But. Yep. Basically, you land. And he's here. He's angry. And you have to help the bunnies. Now, the thing is, that's a great start already. I don't usually find this boss to be too hard. But it can be sort of tricky on the Daredevil run. Because even during a normal fight, it's a little bit... It's a little bit overly possible to take damage without even trying. Well, uh, it's pretty easy to take damage without trying a lot of the time because you generally don't try to take damage. There are some take some cases where you would, but this this game doesn't typically have too many of those unless there's something in the speedrunning tactics that I don't really know. But yeah. Anyway, he's gonna charge again, so there we go. And don't give him a chance to do that again, because the longer the fight goes on, the more chance you have to die, and it's a bad time. But that's that's a nice quick star. Now, assuming nothing else happens, I can show you what I had been meaning to show you before. But I checked to see if this was here, just because I didn't want it to go away. Um, whatever. But, yeah. 
Daredevil Run. We're almost up to 50 stars, people. New chapter has been added to the storybook. Save your game. No. Uh. Yeah, there wasn't going to be a um, any um comment in the Freeze Flame Galaxy yet, because I don't think that shows up until a little later. But I'm actually going to be heading out to another level now. And those of you who have been paying attention might realize what I'm doing, and those of you who know the game will know why, but I'm going back to the kitchen. Because there's one thing that I put off doing in the kitchen for a little while that we could have done a while ago. There is a secret star in the Beach Bowl galaxy that we can now obtain without disrupting the order. Um, I will explain that, I suppose, but I think you can technically get this in any of the three missions. I might be wrong, but I think this is the one... Actually, I think you could... I think this is the one you're meant to, because this is the one that has the most shells around. You might be able to do it with the golden shell from the second one, but... It's not advisable, because... But, yeah, and I don't know if there's any shells available for you on the first mission. But what you want to do is grab a shell, and instead of breaking open the undersea cavern, you want to take it over here. This is an area we didn't go too much. There's, there's kind of like this waterfall in the pool here. There's something... There's a little pipe you can take there that has some extra goodies in it. We don't need that. We are taking the shell, and we are going... to this little chest that's kind of hidden away here in the corner. If you break it open, there's a launch star inside. And this takes us over to where the secret star is, naturally. little pool, lots of waterfalls. This isn't so much beach as it is just kind of meadow and all that happy la happiness. Lakes, waterfalls, cataquacks. No. Get get away from me. Nobody likes cataquacks. Nobody. Especially not the red ones. <laughs> Nobody likes the red cataquacks. Uh, except in this mission where you, like, the blue ones. Well, at least they respawn, because you have to lure one over. That, they're, they're not exactly smart, and if you get too far away from them, they will stop following you, but you want to kind of lure one over here, fling you up into this coin, and an ice flower appears. This is why I didn't get this before, because I... I basically considered the fact that you can get the Ice Flower here to be sort of spoilers. Not really, but it's like... It is rather disruptive to the flow of the gameplay, in my opinion, to get the Ice Flower power up. Not for the first time before you go to the Freeze Flame Galaxy, because then it's... That mission is kind of supposed to be its introduction... And it's a little bit, uh... It just seems a little tiny bit, uh... Anticlimactic? I don't know if that's the right word to, to get it before that. But anyway, get up here, and you got more cataquacks. And this time, you have to kind of build some bridges across the water. Because the cataquacks drown easily. And let me build you a bridge so you can fling me into the star. But yeah, that's pretty much the mission. Um, back here in the kitchen. Maybe that's not bricked off, I don't know. It shows up better on my footage recorded, I think. I save game? Nope. But... I'm going to... say that that's been three stars, I think. I think I'll call that an episode, because I don't want to start pushing the length too much, because I have been having some fairly long episodes lately. 
So now I'm going to end the episode out here. You have a letter from Luigi. Bro, I got the star, but now I can't get back. This picture shows where I am. Help me! Well, I guess we know where we're going now. Hmm, where is that place? Looks familiar, but then again. Yeah, they, that's basically what they say all the time. He's, to he's teaching us how to do this again because he thinks we're dumb. Anyway. I forgot that they don't actually alert you to, the, to those le letters after the first one. Huh. Anyway. In the next episode, we will save Luigi yet again. This is the third time now. And... Then, we will head back to the Freeze Flame Galaxy and... See what else is there other than freeze. Hint. It rhymes with fame. Anyway. So, in the meantime, respond, vibrate, feedback, and resonate in the comments below. Just tell me how everything's been going. I don't know. I would like to know what you think. And... I would like to talk a little more, I guess, with people. If you're watching this video and you haven't commented in yet because you're afraid to talk to me, or if you just don't want to bother me, please do bother me. I would like to talk. <laughs> but, anyway, that's been going on. I'm going to and cut there. Good night.